Over the last year, Idaho State University, with the help of the community, has drastically improved their athletic facilities. New turf in the dome, new basketball courts for the men and the women, and a bigger and better weight room, just to name a few. Tonight, we take a look at a new project scheduled to be located just outside of Holt Arena. You know what, our, our teams need a place that they can practice flat, that's always ours, that's always taken care of, that we don't have to share with anyone else. You know, there's, there's a time in Holt Arena uh, where we share the facility with so many others, especially, you know, December through March, that football has no place to practice. And if there's snow on the ground, they really don't have any place to practice. Same thing with soccer, same with softball, and, and all of the other sports that want to do uh, plyometrics and calisthenics. They, they need a place that they can work out and something that's ours. The new practice field will be very similar to the surface currently installed inside the dome. Made by the same company, the new turf will be located just south of Holt Arena in an area that is currently a large grass field. Although the process is just in its infancy, one of the very first donors to the project has a very special connection to ISU. Today we're recognizing uh, members of the 1981 national championship team. You know, it's so uh, special for them to be able to give back, especially for us building a, a practice field that will will uh, have football markings on it. Although this field's primary use will be for the athletes at Idaho State, T says it's a project that should benefit many, many others. I also like it to be a community field, something that we can share with Pocatello for soccer games and tournaments, for Little League football games and, and the like. I mean, that's it's an important part. We're, we're a part of this community and we want to share ourselves and our facilities with the community. This outdoor field is just another step on the long list of improvement projects undertaken in the last little while by the Bengals. Jeff says accomplishing these things is truly a group effort. You know, it's been fabulous. You know, our community has really supported us. They've rallied around the, the university, the athletic department. You've seen it with, uh, with new basketball courts in Reed Gym and Holt Arena, a new football field in Holt Arena, uh, a new softball stadium. Uh, we've redone the weight room, put in a, a video board, redone all of our, our locker rooms. I mean, we've had a lot of success uh, based on the help that we've had from the community. That project is scheduled to be done next fall and will cost just over a half million dollars for the yeah. university. So. All right, thank you very much, Matt.